And welcome inside the Prudential Center here in beautiful Newark, New Jersey. This is Boxing. This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter Mr. Bob Arum. Brought to you all week by Boost Mobile. Money is power by AutoZone. Get in the zone by Big George Foreman. Exclusively in the theaters, April 28th. Tickets on sale now. And by Bud Light, the official beer of celebrations. Now that we've got all of that past us, I'm joined on stage by Carl Moretti, Vice President of Boxing Operations, Dylan Wanagail, uh, VP of Sports Property Special Events pr for Prudential Center, and a very special guest here, right? And we'll get to him in just a second. But Dylan, I want to start with you before we get uh, seated and talk to all these incredible fighters. How special for Top Rank to be back in the house here at the Prudential Center? Thank you, Mark. It's very special. First, let me say thank you to our event partners at Top Rank, led by their founder and CEO, Bob Arum and his world-class staff as they deliver another exciting night of professional boxing here to the city of Newark. Also, thank you to ESPN for their continued support of the Sweet Science, as well as all combat sports. What a tremendous week it's been here at Prudential Center. Started off Monday night, huge dinner on the arena floor celebrating the history of basketball in New Jersey. Two sold-out games for the playoff-bound New Jersey Devils. Last night, big concert for NCT Dream as we continue to be the North American home of K-pop. Friday night, the iconic band known as the Eagles graces our stage. And then, of course, the real main event, Saturday night, the return here of Newark's own Shakur Stevenson as he makes his lightweight debut. Uh, Shakur's return to Brick City means so much to so many around here. We also want to welcome uh, Shuichiro Yoshino for his United States debut, and kudos to Top Rank for a hugely stacked undercard once again, which we'll hear more about. Uh, Come on out Saturday night, it's going to be a great night. Make a memory for yourself. Let me turn it over to Tomas, who really put boxing on the map here. Hey, we are uh, very grateful to have you with us, sir. Uh, former lightweight champion, cruiserweight, and like Dylan just said, you put boxing on the map here at the Prudential Center. How excited are you to be with us all week and, and seeing these young up and coming studs behind you uh, make a name for themselves, and we're back here in Jersey. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I'm very happy I can be here again, but I'm not fighting. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make one more fight, but then next year uh, for goodbye. Maybe here. I live from Corny, it's 10 minutes from, from here. Yeah, I'm very happy, you know, come, um, come here and uh, my friend is a young boy, Kneba, fighting heavyweight for the big opportunity to build fans again, like I did. And I wish him the best make good fights, tough fights, because love tough fights, even you you lay down, you wake up and fight again. And I wish him, I wish him to be after me, warrior also. And I want to say, hello everybody, come watch uh, Kniba, I'll be here also. And thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm going to bring this uh, and bring it over to Carl. Carl, uh, this is your backyard. You got to feel pretty good about coming to Prudential Center. If they put the heat on, I'll feel a lot better. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, but I get it. There's a hockey game tonight. Yeah, it's great to be in Newark. Um, this is fastly becoming one of the hot boxing uh, places to be at. Obviously, because of the main event in Shakur, and uh, you know he may be from Newark, but when you get calls from the whole East Coast and around the country to see one of the best fighters in the world, that's what they want, and that's what they're gonna see Saturday night, so let's get this press conference. So let's go, have a seat. All right, everybody, again, welcome inside the Prudential Center here in beautiful Newark, New Jersey. Uh, an incredible card, and as we had a, a famous Polish champ in the building, we're gonna start down here with uh, Damian Kniba. You're the first Polish heavyweight to be signed by Top Rank Boxing. You're 10-0, six knockouts, about to have your fourth fight here in the United States. How has signing with Top Rank changed your career? Yes, I'm the first Polish in the hard fight, who signed the contract with Top Rank. 10-0 record. How do you feel? How do you feel that I'm going to stay here and fight here? It's a huge challenge for me. It's a huge step forward. It gives me a huge opportunity. At this point, it was definitely hard. We fought at different levels. It's never easy. Często ciężko było w ogóle gdzieś zawalczyć, dostać walkę. Zebrałem swoje doświadczenie i teraz udało się podpisać ten kontrakt. Będzie teraz na pewno moja kariera potoczy się dużo lepiej, tak? It's an honor for me. It's a huge step forward. The beginning was tough. Um, I never had guaranteed fights. We have to scramble our way to get me fights and experience. But we did just that and I'm here. I'm ready for the opportunity to take advantage 
and I'm excited to see the huge leaps my career takes forward. His last fight, I'm going to look at you because it's easier to talk to you and you can translate, but his last fight was across river at Madison Square Garden. He put on a show, big knockout in the second round, and there were a ton of Polish flags in the crowd. Now that he's got this platform with ESPN and top rank, does he feel a bit more pressure that he's got to put on a show like that every time he comes out? My last fight Madison Square Garden. Bardzo dużo Polonii było, polskie flagi. Czy czujesz większą presję tym, że, że znowu tutaj walczysz, walczysz dla top ranka i dużo polskich ludzi na tobie polega? Dla mnie to jest dodatkowa motywacja, kiedy przychodzi dużo polskich kibiców i jest wspaniały doping. No teraz na pewno duży sprawdzian przede mną, tak? Jestem bardzo dobrze przygotowany, podchodzę do wszystkiego ze, ze spokojną, chłodną głową i jestem pewien, że dam dobrą walkę w sobotę i będzie bardzo dobry boks. For me, it's uh, more so of a more motivation than pressure. Um, I know I have a tough opponent in front of me Saturday night, but I'm more than ready. I'm excited to put on a show for the fans, and I can't wait for Saturday night. He's been quoted that he wants to become the first Polish heavyweight champion. What would that mean for him and his country, uh, and what does that path look like? Mówiłeś, że chcesz być pierwszym Polakiem, a który zdobędzie pas pas mistrzowski wagi ciężkiej. Co by to dla Ciebie znaczyło i jak ta droga wygląda? E, wiadomo, na razie robimy swoje, nie wybiegamy tak w przód, e, krok po kroku zmierzamy do tego, tak? E, no na pewno byłby to dla mnie ogromny zaszczyt i jestem pewien, że e, ma, no, zdecydowanie mam najlepsze warunki do tego, żeby, żeby to wszystko dokonać. Mam dobre warunki fizyczne, mam do, do, dobrą grupę promotorską, dobrych menadżerów, e, więc I have everything I need. I have the physical attributes. I have a great promotional group, great manager. Um, I don't want to think too far ahead. I want to take it step by step. Uh, for me, it would be a huge honor and it's my biggest motivation, but I'm sure what time I'll get there. Best of luck Saturday night. Look forward to uh, seeing you in the ring and thank you for your time today. I'm going to start looking to my right, Bruce Shoo Shoo Carrington. Great to see you, brother. Love that smile. Listen, boxing. Since the age of seven, Brownsville, Brooklyn native, what are some of your favorite memories from that time in your life, seven years old? Oh man, just, you know, just watching, you know, guys like Mike Tyson, Zab Judah. This is like around seven years old when I started boxing, so I was kind of just watching those guys and was always kind of interested in the sport, in, in, in the game anyway. And uh, it was always kind of like a spectacle whenever Zab Judah would step in the ring and you know, he, he would fight, or Mike Tyson stepping in the ring, he would fight. And then, you know, we would go to Broway Boxing around, Luda, you know, Luda Bella was running that, and uh, Curtis Stevens, he was on there boxing. So, you know, it was always kind of something that, uh, I, even if I wasn't boxing, I would always have been around, just because that's just the thing that, you know, us Brownsvillians, that we always be around and, you know, we support. Brownsvillians, I'm yeah. gonna keep that one. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I'm gonna read you a quote. Bruce Carrington is one of the great American amateurs of his generation, and he has the makeup and skills to be a future champion, said top ranked chairman Bob Arum. What does it mean to you to hear Bob talk about you like that? Man, oh, thank you, Bob. <laughs> um, it, it means a lot. You know, it, it lets me know that what I'm doing, and I'm doing my job, and, uh, you know, and I really appreciate that, you know, he said those kind of words about me, you know, and I'm just going to keep making sure I do what I got to do to continue to make him proud, the rest of my fans proud, and to make sure I become the best fighter I can be in, in this uh, sport. You talk about your parents keeping you out of trouble when you were younger. I want to go back to Brownsville for a second. How important is your family to you now that you're on this journey as a professional boxer? Man, my family is everything, man. You know, they made me into the person I am today. You know, they kept me, they're the people that keep me grounded. They're the people that make sure that, uh, you know, I don't get off my path. And I honestly feel like if it wasn't for them, I honestly don't know where I would be. I don't know if I would be boxing. I don't know if I'll be talking to you guys on this stage today. And I got to give a big thanks to them, 100%. What do you want people to take away from your fights when they watch you? Oh uh, man, I just want people to, uh, you know, really just, I guess, every single time I fight, I try to display art. You know, it's not just about knockouts. It's not just about, you know, being you know, flashy and nothing like that. Like, I want you to, sh I want you to see that everything is strictly business. And, uh, and, I, and I'm, you know, Picasso in the, in the ring. The, the ring is my canvas and I'm painting the canvas, you know, so, uh, that's kind of, I just want everybody to just kind of learn and be more educated every single time I fight in the ring. Well, listen, thanks for time today. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow on the scale. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, a big lightweight battle, Anthony Yigit, Keyshawn Davis.
Uh, they are both on the stage with me. Keyshawn, I want to start with you. It's a family affair this weekend. Your older brother, Kelvin, is on the card. That's all right. How does having DB3 in your corner help you out day to day? Uh, uh, motivation, for real. We motivate each other. Uh, we hype each other up. We get each other talking shit. You know what I'm saying? We just really, if, but really for the most part, we push each other in, the, in, in training camps. Um, I really feel like we raise our game together. Like everything we do is together. And now that we fighting together, it just really just makes it more comfortable. Anthony, I want to come over to you. Can you dig it, yig it? <laughs> yeah, that's me. I love it. It makes the name pronunciation make sense. There are no questions asked by everybody here in the media. That's how you say his last name. Can you dig it? Yig it. Welcome to New Jersey. How excited are you here to be with us on ESPN and fighting in the United States? Well, I mean, what a welcome. I mean, it's, you know, we got hockey. It's cold as shit. That's like Sweden. Like, it's, it feels like home. It's perfect. And, you know, it's... Oh, man, you must be cold. How cold is it? <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> no, it's... But the jokes aside, look, I'm, I'm very happy Yeah, get to be keep here. your eyes this way. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm engaged. I'm engaged. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 but serious though, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. I'm very thankful for this opportunity. Um, obviously, um, I've spoken to uh, Team uh, Keyshawn. You know, they're very respectful to me, and I feel very welcomed by all of Top Rank. It's been amazing. That's what I love about boxing. You know, you meet people that uh, dream about the, th the same things. You know. It's all about training the hardest you can do and just going to the ring and, and to showcase that. And I'm just happy to be able to finally uh, be able to do that because I've been training for all my life trying to do what I do. Uh, you know, had some bumps along the road, but hey, who said following your dreams is easy, right? It's not. And we're still doing it. I'm still here. And uh, I think, you know, this time is going to be my time. No. The businessman. I'm Why you laugh at that? Why you laugh at? As soon as you said that, you laugh. Why did you laugh? What? What's, because what's he funny said about no. your time. He said no. Now nah, you laugh. That was said funny. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's just keep our eyes this way, all of us. No. Uh, Keyshawn, I want to come over to you. Three fights in 2022. Yeah, three fights in 2022. Your last one out went the distance. First time past six rounds, you went eight against a tough opponent, Juan Carlos Burgos. What do you look forward to the most in 2023? I know we're not looking past Saturday night, but Saturday night is a part of this new year, and what are you looking forward to the most? Oh, um, well, this year I'm looking forward to, of course, Saturday night, and I know Yig is definitely coming to fight. Um, he's an experienced fighter, and um, I really think he's going to test me in ways that he nobody never tested before. He's southpaw, um, and he's a fighter. He, he likes to fight. He, he box, he do all that extra stuff, but he really likes to fight. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I love that shit. I like to fight too. So, you know, this Great. Saturday, it's, it's definitely going to be, you know, action pack and the tougher man going to win. You what know, do you have? Uh, let me just fill that in. You're a great fighter, IQ wise. But don't go in fighting with me. Then you're just coming into my boxing. My boxing is fighting. So do that for me perfect. That's best. I mean, I, I feel what you're saying, but I just feel like I could beat you at any game that you want to play. Perfect. Then let's do it in the center of the ring. I'm going to do what I want to do. You just said it. You said you're gonna fight me. Let's do it. I'm gonna do what I want to do. <laughs> if I want to box you, I'm gonna do that. If I want to rough you up, I'm gonna do that. If I want to fight you, I'm gonna do that. You get it? You dig it, Yigit? <laughs> He's got the pronunciation down. Anthony, you're coming off uh, back to back TKO wins. Great performances. How do we continue that streak Saturday night? Uh, I mean, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Um, Wait. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. Yeah. Think. We got any comedy clubs at the Prudential Center here? We maybe get them a set tonight or tomorrow before Saturday. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm coming in to fight. And this time, you know, I'm ready. Uh, it's it's going to be an amazing fight. Obviously, like Keyshawn said, he's ready. I'm ready. It's, you know, be you guys be ready too. That's it. We good? Can I move? Where, where, well, where's it going to go? This might just go to the third round. The third round? Bro, come on. Give me a little bit more cred, man. Third I said you can fight. You come to fight. In third round, though. Come on, man. 
Hey, we gotta promote the fight, right? <laughs> now, I can eat you like five, six. Like five, six. You, 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 can you, all right? He's thinking, said, all right, all right. Yeah. Can we turn the popcorn machines on, please? Uh, gentlemen, George Arias, Jared the Real Big Baby Anderson, the heavyweights. Three years into the pro game, Jared, I love sitting down. And I'm glad you brought your uh, name, your name uh, desk thing, by the way. Just in case so anybody knows who you are. Uh, 13 and 0, 13 knockouts. Is this still fresh and exciting for you, or has the luster of turning pro taken a back seat now that you're more settled in and focused? Clearly focused with his paper on his head. Yeah, I'm beyond focused, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm more than ready for this fight, you know, just handle business um, and come out impressively, you know. He's a fight against an undefeated fighter, you know, and that's, that's all we're looking for, you know, to be impressive. I, I will say, this is one of the loosest press, press conferences we've had in a while, so I guess uh, we need to come to the cold. credentials. It's, it's either really cold in here or there's something in the water here in Jersey. Gentlemen, George Arias, welcome. Like uh, Jared just said, 18-0, and 0, undefeated. Somebody's walking away with a loss. Seven knockouts. You've beaten three previously unbeaten prospects in your last four fights. Is Jared your toughest opponent to date, or is this just another day in the office for you? Hello. Okay. Uh, well, on paper, absolutely, he's the toughest because it seems like he's uh, he's the new face of the heavyweight division. But as uh, as for me, when I step in the ring, I see it as a sport. I see it as uh, do what I can to get the win. And you know, it's boxing. At the end of the day, the rules are the rules. You do whatever you can within the time permitted to get the win. So. Is another fight to me, but absolutely, the he is the a guy with a lot. Should I beat him? You know, Jared, you haven't been past the sixth round in any of your fights. When you step into the ring, do you look to end things early, or do you just let it play out, and that's just what happens? Um, I kind of just let it play out. I think you know, Jerry Force kind of picked the ending to our last fight um, without my decision making. I came in, I felt like I was a little too relaxed. And that was kind of what transpired into him landing those two big shots, you know. But I feel like, like I said, he decided the fate of that fight. And so hopefully he decides to let us get a couple rounds in. George, to that point, you've been off now for 10 months. Is there any concern that uh, there's a little ring rust coming into this one? Uh, honestly, no. Uh, I've been uh, laid off for... Uh, that amount of time before. Uh, I did the best I could to get ready. You know, I have no, nothing, no excuse that I could throw to say that that was possibly any reason why. I trained to the best of my ability. I sparred with great fighters. I did everything I could. As for me, I think I'm just like if I fought a couple of months ago. No problem. You, uh, you quoted tw Tyson in an interview, you know, everybody's game plan goes out the window once, once they get hit. And Jared, you were just recently quoted, once I get hit, it's a whole new ball game. I switch everything up, my mindset, how I fight, everything. You know he's coming out hitting. So what's your mindset Saturday night? Win. <laughs> nah, uh, honestly, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like he said, my coach said it himself, don't get hit. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how we going into it. Um, I, I keep uh, emphasizing on how I got hit in my last fight. You know, everybody heard the oohs and the ahs, and I was like, the flip switched, you know, um, and so that was, like I said, why everything came to about, but we working on not getting hit, you know, and just being impressive. George, one last one for you. You said you can't wait for Saturday night to show the world what you're made of and to pull off the upset. So in your mind, if you win, you've already envisioned it as an upset. You said everyone has a plan. What's your plan? Oh, you mean like my game plan? Yeah, <laughs> spell the bean. Nah. <laughs> uh, uh, one thing I can say, the guy's a knockout artist. I, I, w I wouldn't necessarily consider it a very smart idea to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, a, with a knockout artist. So, yeah, just uh, take my time, you know? The guy has, uh, hasn't has passed, what is it, the third round? So, the sixth round. So, yeah, definitely, if it's a ten-round fight, there's no rush. Everybody has an O, and it's got to go. That's the best quote uh, I think that we could put on the uh, Jared Anderson Well, it won't Wikipedia. be me, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> How excited are you for Saturday night, in all honesty? Here we are, Prudential Center in, in Jersey, uh, co-feature, ready to put on another show. Mikey, make sure you get this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is
this, 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 this brotherhood, man. I love these guys. You know, the camp was great. Uh, more than happy to be here. Sitting on this stage right now with these guys, you feel me? It means everything to me. Um, we having the time of our lives up here, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait till Shakur get on the mic, see what he got to say, man. <laughs> um, we work for this, man. We've been dogging in camp. You know what I'm saying? We've been pushing each other to the limit, uh, perfecting each other's flaws. So I just, I'm just so excited, excited and ready to go Saturday. Thank you guys for your time. Before we get to the main event, I do want to bring Carl in. Uh, this has been pretty loose and fun, and, and I think that's a testament to these young guys that Top Rank has in their stable. Yeah, they, they uh, you know, Saturday night is the result of what they've done for the last two months. No one really sees that. You know, they push each other. You know, no one really wants to do a training camp <laughs> with what they go through, the swimming, strength and conditioning, the sparring, and everything like that. So to get to this point for these guys, you know, they can't wait to Saturday. It's the eight weeks leading up to this with guys that, you know, when they were offered the fights, accepted the fight, signed the contract, sent it right back. They're not opponents. You know, these are all step-up fights for each one of these guys, and that's what's going to make this a compelling and interesting fight. Yeah, last week uh, the card was incredible. You know, we've had three straight weeks of incredible fight weeks with Top Rank, and here we are again Saturday night. Uh, please, everybody, tune in. It, it is going to be fight after fight after fight of fireworks. Uh, what's that mean to you guys at Top Rank to, to be able to throw on such high-quality shows week in and week out? Well, we just televise and promote it. The <laughs> fighters do it. We get the miles on the plane and everything else, but at the end of the day, the fight, you know, all the credit goes to the fighters and what they do in preparation, which you see on Saturday nights on ESPN. And again, I, you know, there's no doubt in my mind you're going to see another card from top to bottom where guys are legitimately tested and we'll be able to see what's the next steps for each one of them. Saturday, April 8th, here at the Prudential Center, Newark, New Jersey. It's a WBC lightweight final eliminator. Shuchiro Yoshino, Shakur Stevenson. And uh, we're going to start with you, Shakur, because this is, this is your backyard. This is your hometown. I know we've been here before, but I guess it's a, it's a given that I've got to ask. How important is it to you to always come home, take care of your own, and to be here at the Prudential Center? These moments, they must really mean the world to you. It's very important. Um, it feels great to be back home, back in front of my fans, my family. I'm enjoying myself, and I just can't wait for Saturday. I'm really excited for Saturday. Your opponent is 16-0. and 0. He's the WBO Asia Pacific Champion. You've moved up. Are you ready for Saturday night in this new challenge, this new chapter? Is he ready for Saturday night is the real question. I mean... He walked around here with a smile, and I can't wait to wipe that smile off his face. Let's go to uh, Shochiro Yoshino. Welcome. Uh, first time fighting outside of Japan. Welcome to the United States. How excited are you for this opportunity? America no, ano, shi wa hajimete desu ke do, ano, do yu kimochi desu ka, do yu shinkyo desu. Eh, to temo tanojimi de waku waku shiteimasu. I'm really pumped up to the roof. For the fight, and uh, I'm ready to fight uh, Saturday night. Carl, you know um, today's April 6, and it's the uh, 36th anniversary of uh, Sugar Ray Leonard and Marvel's Marvin Hagler that Bob Arum and Top Rank promoted. And uh, Hagler, who a lot of us thought won the fight, was originally from Newark and moved on to Boston, but he's a Newark kid and. I'm just saying, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying, you know, we got another Southpaw from Newark here. And when we signed Shakur um, coming out of the Olympics and watched him coming up, we knew he was going to be great. And he's better than we thought. And we can't wait for Saturday night. And Yoshino is going to push everything towards Shakur. I'm going to push him. That's right. And he's going to push right back. Push and that's what makes this so exciting because. The sparring's been on point, the diet's been on point, everything's strength and conditioning, everything's on point. And I know there's a lot of lightweight fights coming up in the next two months. Let's have this conversation on May 21st on um, where the lightweight division is. Shakur, what's that mean to you to hear Carl talk like that? I mean, it means a lot, but um, I gotta go in there and handle business Saturday. I'm not really worried about anything but Saturday. I don't know about no May 20th, no. May 21st, Saturday is the, what's important to me. Um, like I said, this dude been running around here saying I ain't got no power, 
you know what I'm saying? He gonna push me mentally. Let's see if he ready to go to deep waters with me. I'm gonna drown him. Having heard that, is he ready to go to deep waters and, and push back on Shakur Saturday night? Bring it on. I can't wait. I can't wait. I swear to God. My dinner is just Hey, tell, tell him go in there thinking I ain't got no power. Tell him do that. Tell him go in there thinking that. I know. She ain't need. I know. What are your power? What are your power? What do you do? Show me the other thing. Well, let's try to show you the other thing. Let's find out in the ring. We're going to yeah, find out for sure. Beat him up. Yoshino arrived in the United States on March 29th after a three month camp at the Misako Boxing Gym in Tokyo. What would it mean to his entire team to come in here to Newark and shock the world? He's not doing it. He's not doing it. It's not happening. I worked too hard for that. あの、いろいろ頑張ってあの、この試合に向けて頑張ってきたけど、これで勝てればあなたとミサコチームとにやってあのどういう気持ちになると思う。まあこれいかでば、WBCの世界タイトルえ手に入るんで、え、すべてが
Oh, he don't know, y'all. Yeah. He don't know, y'all. Yeah. You did, yeah. You are, you are Nagatani. What was that? Repeat that. He said, "Yeah, you are Nagatani." That was whack. That was so whack, bro. You don't even know what that means. <laughs> you guys, we, we should just keep the, the four of you mic'd up, and we'll just all just take them. Take yeah, we'll do the press conference. We can read it. We can read it. We can get off the stage. stage. <laughs> we have fun. With that, ladies and gentlemen, a friendly reminder, we'll be right back here tomorrow to get them on the scale. We're going to pause now and let these guys have their first face-offs of the week. Again, it all goes down Saturday, April 8th, live from the Prudential Center here in Newark, New Jersey. You don't want to miss it. Thanks for joining us, as always. This is Boxing. This is Top Rank. We'll see you tomorrow when we get them on the scale. Let's go.